welcome all in this lecture we are going to learn about time response of first order control system when the input applied is unit ramp function since the input is unit ramp function that's why our input signal r of t will be equals to t only on taking the laplace transform we get this r of t will be converted into r of s and the laplace transform of t will be equals to 1 over s square since the output of the first order control system is denoted by c of s and c of s is equals to r of s divided by st plus 1 so we have the value of r of s equals to 1 over s square so replacing the value of r of s with 1 over s square we get c of s equals to 1 over s square st plus 1 on doing the partial fraction of c of s we get a over s plus b over s square plus c over st plus 1 so we have to find out the value of a b and c to proceed so on getting the value of a b c we get a equals to minus t b equals to 1 and c equals to t square so these are the value of a b and c that we get after solving this above expression so on substituting the value of a b and c in the above expression we get c of s that will be equals to <coughs> minus t over s plus 1 over s square plus t square divided by st plus 1 this is our final expression of c of s after putting the value of a b and c then we have to take the inverse laplace transform taking inverse Laplace transform we get the value of c of t as Laplace inverse of minus t over s plus 1 over s square plus t square over st plus 1 then c of t will be laplace inverse of 1 over s will be equals to 1 only so minus t is constant here that's why laplace inverse of minus t over s is equals to minus t plus laplace inverse of 1 over s square is equals to t only plus laplace inverse of 1 over s t plus 1 will be equals to e to the power minus t so this t square will be taken as a constant and Firstly, we have to take the t from the as a common from the denominator from this term only. So this term will become t square over t s plus 1 over t and this term t will be cancelled out with this t square. So in the numerator this term will become t over st s plus 1 by t 
and the Laplace inverse of t over s plus 1 by t will be equals to t into e to the power minus small t divided by capital T. So this is the expression of c of t that we get after evaluating and taking the inverse Laplace transform. Now moving on to the calculation of error error e of t is given as r of t that is input minus output that is c of t on substituting the value of r of t and c of t in the expression we get t minus this whole value of c of t will be copied here minus t plus t plus capital T e to the power minus t divided by this t on opening the bracket we get t plus t minus small t minus t into e to the power minus t by capital T so this t will be cancelled out with this t so e of t will become capital T minus capital T e to the power minus a small t by capital T so this is the expression of error that is denoted by e of t moving on to the steady state error we get e of ss that will be equals to limit t tends to infinite e of t so limit t tends to infinite e of t will be written here that is t minus t e to the power minus t over t if t tends to infinite will be replaced with this small t then it will become e to the power minus infinite and since we all know that e to the power minus infinite is nothing but equals to zero only so this whole term will become zero and e of s s will be finally equals to this capital T so this is the output of e of s s that is steady state error Thank you.